Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, October 15th, and I have my special friends here. Do you want to introduce yourselves? Um, my name's June. My name's Usman. My name's Jaden. June, Usman, and Jaden? Yeah, all right. Cool. Let's start with our Pledge of Allegiance. I our pledge allegiance to, to the flag. flag. United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, now our Lombardi Pledge. Today, I promise to take care of myself, take care of others, and take care of my environment. Whoa, that was like a quiet, nice, well-behaved roar, but I like it. Happy birthday. To you. Happy oh, yeah. birthday. Our jokes from now until around Halloween are coming from Vance and Dylan Nelson, who gave me their Halloween joke book. So, all right, my co-host here. What do ghosts put on their face before they go to bed? What do ghosts put on their face before they go to bed? A mask? That's a good guess. A human mask. Oh, that would be scary. What do you think? Ghost mask. Ghost mask. Let's see. They put on face cream instead of face cream. They put on face scream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's good. All right, let's see. Are you smarter than Mr. McDermott? This is a tough question, so I put a video in here. Who is known as the father of evolution? And that's a really tough one. Most people don't know. So it is Charles let me put that Charles Darwin. So I have a little video for us to watch. History in a nutshell. Who was Charles Darwin, you say? Hmm. Only one of the most famous scientists in history. He was the first person to explain the fundamental scientific theory that evolution is caused by natural selection and that humans and animals share common ancestors. It was a groundbreaking idea that caused huge controversy in Victorian England and changed the way we think about the natural world. Darwin was born into a wealthy family in 1809. His dad expected him to become a doctor or a priest, but at university, Charles was much more keen on the world around him. He helped name plants at the university museum, debated natural history, learned how to stuff birds, collected beetles and much besides. At just 22, Darwin set off on a round-the-world voyage that took him to South America, Australasia, and Africa. It wasn't your average gap year. Uh -huh. Darwin didn't come home for five years, and the things he experienced on his voyage influenced him for the rest of his life. He ventured into dense rainforests, climbed mountains in the Andes, and explored the Galapagos Islands, collecting and observing plants, animals, and fossils along the way. He joined the carnival in Brazil and even got caught up in a rebellion in Uruguay. It was quite the adventure. When he eventually arrived back in England, Darwin began working with other scientists on the findings from his voyage. All right, we're going to go on to the next. Oh. History in a nutshell. There we go. All right, we're going to do some mindful breathing. It's called All the Sounds. So all you have to do is you sit up straight, close your eyes, and as we breathe in and out, we're going to listen for any sounds that we hear. We might hear people in the hallway. It could be birds outside. It could be the, the noise from the lights. It could be could be anything. So we're going to do that. It could be drums. could be drums. It could be. It could be anything. I know. All right, let's try it. We're going to close our eyes, and we're going to breathe in and out through our nose and mouth, and nose or mouth, and hear what we hear. All right. Did you hear anything? Um, I hear yeah. drumming. I, I hear knocking, and I hear um dog sniffing. Oh, really? Oh man, maybe it was Uzma. 
Is he sniffing? Go on. <laughs> I, I, I heard something from the hall and it was like, bzz. oh, okay. Like a bee sound. Like a bee sound? I saw, okay. I saw a bee sound when I was. I saw a bee when I was, when I was, when I was closing my eyes. All right, before we say goodbye, do you want to say anything to the people out there? Say, just say bye to everybody for the day. Cool. See you later, everybody.